What's up, collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Happy Mother's Day, Divine Feminines. Happy Mother's Day to all the women out there, the mothers. Happy Mother's Day to if you adopted a child, if you didn't give birth. Happy Mother's Day to the fathers that's out there that's taking care of your children when their mother is not there. Okay, happy Mother's Day to all mothers. You don't have to be a woman to be a mother, okay? It's a few masculine energies out there that's a feminine mother to their children because their mother probably is either um, passed on um, to be incarcerated. Um, you could just be a father who's more in your child's life than their actual mother. So I'm saying happy birthday to everyone out there. Even if you don't have a child and you want a child, but you just haven't had it, happy Mother's Day. We have a child somewhere in the spiritual realm. Okay. I don't know who that's for. But this is this is um um some of you may not be getting along with your mother. So happy Mother's Day to those of you that you you didn't call your mother and tell her happy Mother's Day. Even though you're mad at her, I know you don't want to hear it. Still, even if it's just a text to say Happy Mother's Day, okay? That don't mean that you got to all hug and all go. No, no, you just take it slow. But that is your mother. She did bring you in this world. And yeah, I hear somebody say, yes, yeah, she brought me in this world and she left me. You really don't know why she left. Maybe some of you do, but some of you don't. You don't even know the whole story. Maybe some of you, I don't know why I'm saying this, need to search for your biological mother. Hmm. Biological mother. Okay. We're going to do a reading about for a biological mother. Maybe you was taken from this mother. Maybe this mother confirmation. Okay. Maybe this mother was... Um, was taken away from you. You were taken away from her. Maybe you was adopted. Uh, maybe she was a, a child when she had you and she was forced to give you up. Okay. So I'm going I'm to pull some cards on that instead. Okay. Maybe someone needs to hear a message from their mother that they can't get on with. So as a matter of fact, since it's Mother's Day, all of my readings are going to concern mothers. The, the energy of mothers who have, I need to write it down. The mothers who put you up for adoption. The mothers who left you on somebody's doorstep. The mothers who have passed on. The mothers who stabbed you in the back. Um, Just mothers all day. And I know some, some of you know we living in the biblical in the end where they talk about mothers against daughters and all of that. So I'm, I'm going to do a reading about the mother. So this is for the mothers that um, the daughters and the mother. For those of you that's thinking about your mother, I felt somebody like jump up, like they wanna, they wanna, you wanna call your mother. Hold on. I'm sorry, I had to stop that because D'Angelo creeped up in there talking about you as lady. <laughs> Some of you may sing that song to your mom. Okay. Um. So, um, first we're going to do just a message between you and your mother that you're in contact with, you talk to her all the time. Just, we're going to see just what's going on between you and your mom, my mother's day. Okay. Show me the energy of some of the divine feminines and their mothers. What is the energy surrounding divine feminine and their mother? 
holy spirit, holy angels, ancestors of the purest, brightest, whitest light. Show me the energy between the divine feminine and her mother, or just the mothers and their daughters. What's the energy, general energy, between the mothers and daughters for Mother's Day 2023? Show me the energy. Some of you are your mother. Now, if you're the viewer, you have clarity and belief. Your, your mother or your daughter, you're on a, a, a spiritual journey. And they may say it's a new belief system. Just because you go on a spiritual journey and you go to church, that doesn't mean that you don't love God. Okay. So, this could be an energy between someone and their mother or someone and their daughter. Where this person, your mother or your daughter, I don't know if you're the mother or if you're the daughter, but happy Mother's Day. That you could be the one. The other person is now starting to understand what you're talking about when you go, when you're on this spiritual journey. Okay, they're having a clarity and belief. They're starting to believe and they're starting to see things clearly. Okay. Show me the energy surrounding the divine feminine and her mom. Oh, divine feminine. Somebody is feeling alone. Oh. Some somebody you it, it's like you want to go see your mom. You're lonely and you want to go see her. But it's a lot of like blockages. Something is in front of you. You wanted to go visit her last night, so you'll be there by today. Oh. Maybe you don't have transportation. Maybe your mom lives in a in a um kind of like of an isolated place. That's hard for you to get to. Either you or your mom is feeling alone right now. Show me more of the energy surrounding the divine feminine in your mom. What's the energy between the divine feminine and their, and their mother for, May, for Mother's Day 2023? Show me the energy. Someone is feeling alone and they feel like they're not, you know, happy because they can't see their mom. This person is, is like they can't go to, they can't go with the flow on this situation. There's some tears out here. Success and growth. Take the lead. Strengthening bonds, control, sadness and isolation, and observe. Okay, so collective, whether you're the mother or whether you're the, the daughter or the son. <clears throat> Spirit is saying for you to take the lead. You have to reach out. Okay? If you're not talking to your mom, you must reach out. Because she's feeling alone. 
And this could be for me and my son. I don't really feel alone. But my son married to someone who really don't like me because I see her toxicity. And yeah, in the beginning, before I had to live with them for uh, a month or so, I started seeing things where I thought she was a, in a divine energy, but she's total opposite. She's a karmic. Okay. So my son, he needs to take the lead. Maybe some of you, your son or your daughter needs to take the lead and reach out to you first and strengthen these bonds. <clears throat> I see some of you are strengthening bonds with your mother. Okay. So with the sadness and isolation in reverse, you're not sad or they're not sad or they won't be sad if you reach out to them. Okay. Come out of this sadness and isolation. Or you can bring this person out of it by reaching out to them. Okay. You may be in a way, you know, this mom is controlling. Somebody's mom is a narcissist and I feel it. I understand. Okay. They want to control you. And you're, you, this came in reverse. Like you're saying, you're not going to allow your mom to control you no more. Okay, Spirit, clarify this feeling alone for the mother and daughter, son and daughters, and the mother and their child. Why is some of the mothers or some of the children feeling alone? Somebody's son, they're thinking about their mom. Oh, four wands in reverse for somebody's mother or somebody. Somebody, this is this is where you you're like um <clears throat> somebody is not not um happy on this Mother's Day. They're not celebrating. Maybe some of you lost. I know some of you lost your mother. Could have lost her recently. Okay, but somebody is not celebrating with their mother. And if your mother is here, she's feeling alone. Some of you could be a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This feeling this energy. Mm-hmm. But I do see success and growth between you and your mom, but you just have to take the lead, okay? Yeah, I know she's a control freak, but you tell her in love and show her. And I I I, I can understand <laughs> excuse me, I can understand. You know, maybe your mom is overprotected. I'm super overprotective of my kids. Um, maybe the person you're married to or they're married to, and maybe some sort of, you know, disagreements with that. It's like when this when you when your mom was talking to you, maybe she was always like quoting Bible scriptures in your in your face and your ear to control you by you know throwing up religion to you.
somebody I just heard somebody is is don't have a relation a close relationship with their mother because as a child your mother tried to drown you and you was reaching out and and it could be the opposite you may love your mom so much because you was drowning and she pulled you up she saved you some of you could be thinking about that um, yeah. Or this, this mother could have saved your child from drowning. Somebody, somebody, I don't know if this happened as a child, um, wanted to go somewhere where it was a pool and your mom told you no. You didn't listen. She told you she didn't want you. You couldn't go to that pool, and you still went. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna control me. I don't know why I seen 16. Something. This could have happened when you were 16 years old, and your mother told you not to go to a beach or to a pool or some water park or something, and you you damn near drowned there. You're thinking about that. Yep, the water out here. Somebody almost drowned as a child and your mom told you. Think about that, okay? Also see somebody could have been trying to do some sort of rituals. Seven of Swords in Reverse. Somebody tried to get away with something. They got caught. Being sneaky. Maybe maybe your mother feels like you're, you did something and, and she could have caught you stealing something or lying in some lying about something. And maybe now she she uh she could have found out that it was a lie or it was the truth. The opposite of what she thought. And this mother, she could be an Aquarius energy. And you could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And she could be either a uh, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. And it's like. This mom is, is either you or the mom. Uh, she was like in a Queen of Swords engine. In reverse. And she still could be. Okay. Um, even though she's in that mode. Now, if you got a real tough cookie of a mom, you know that she love you. But she's just strict. She's just, you know, um, overbearingly narcissistic. But it's a different, I'm saying because I have narcissistic traits when it comes to my children. Okay. And it's like they married somebody that's taking, trying to take them away from me. Not them one. And. She, this, this woman, let me say this real quick. My son's wife lost her mother. Um, probably about six years ago. Okay. And it's like the mother was in a competition with me to get my son's attention. To try to slowly wean him away. Now. She know that my son loves my macaroni and cheese. That I'm the macaroni and cheese queen in my family. So what if they, you know, I taught my sons my 
recipe on how I make my macaroni and cheese, right? This woman every year was trying to top my macaroni and cheese. And it's just, she does, I don't even, I, I, basically her mom passed away. So she don't want, she's jealous of me and my son's relationship. She posts things on her Facebook where my son's stepmother and he knew that it was problems and issues when I was younger. So what she does, she posts this woman all on her page, tagging her, telling her how much she loved her and all of this to throw the shit in my face because that woman ain't lived in the house with her. She ain't seen how fucking nasty she is. She don't see that she don't wash clothes instead of instead of washing clothes, she going to buy more clothes for my grandbabies. I don't think they ever wore anything twice. And when I came and I had to stay there with her and I told my son I would help her wash do their laundry um like a uh, a week or so later I was basically started being mistreated disrespected by my grandkids and all of this shit. She lost her mother and she didn't want my son to have a relationship with me. But on fucking Mother's Day, she's on Facebook tagging my son's father and his mother all up in her page. That's the strike out of me. Now, I could have been a bitter bitch and got my other sons, the, the baby that you've been seeing on my page. That's my grandbabies from my other son, my second born. The one I'm talking about is my son one's wife. Okay. And she don't like me. And she's trying to turn my grandbabies against me. But I got 11. No 12. So all she's doing is keeping three away. How many more? Subtract. <laughs> Subtract. The, the three that the four they got, they taking away. My others came over yesterday, you know, so I could be petty and take pictures with my daughter. That's why she do it, because I call my son two's wife, girlfriend, well, kids, mama, they're not together no more. But I call her my daughter. That's my that's my daughter. Open the door. That's that's my daughter. And we talk on the phone just like mother and daughter. And her mother has passed away. And while she was with my son, I took her in as my own child. She was calling me mom even when, you know, her mother was alive. But she's never did no stuff. And I could have been petty and, and you know, um, start posting pictures and tagging her in and all that. She ain't even on my Facebook, you know. So I'm like, I ain't even about to do that. And she would be down to do it because she don't like her either. <laughs> so... But anyway, some of you could be dealing with a, a daughter-in-law that either don't want your son or your daughter or your son-in-law that don't like you, or it could be vice versa. But I do see strengthening bonds out here, and somebody needs to take the lead and reach out to that person. Because what I said, I'm not going to allow this woman, no matter how she act, is I'm not going to stop loving my grandbabies, no matter how spoiled they are. No matter um, how henpecked my son is behind her, I still love him. She can't, that all of that hatred and shit ain't gonna go over the love that I share for my children. But see how she's gonna get karma is because she has a teenager that she's letting bring all up in her house and have sex. 18 years old, she's leaving him there while they take trips and shit to be and kick me out to go stay in a hotel because they wanted, she didn't trust me. In her house while she's not there. And that little stanky raggedy shack they have. Okay. Bathroom smell like piss. And this is. I'm not even. Somebody may be going through the same thing. Okay. She didn't like that I, I exposed her demons. The mother-in-law. Nasty clothes. The whole bedroom. My grandbabies couldn't even walk in the room clothes everywhere instead of her teaching them to clean up her motherfucking ass is is working 
at Walmart and bringing all of this shit home. The room, the room just filthy. I'm on my channel. What? He don't know that they don't see this. And if they do, I don't give a fuck. Okay? But anyway. So, yeah, it's 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 a mother-in-law trying to help. And she didn't like that. Basically, like I said, she don't wash clothes. She would instead of washing them, she just go and buy some more. And the hampers get full and full and full. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with that, and this is a, um, it's, I see success and growth, no more sadness and isolation. You probably have said to this mom your, or your child, you're not going to let them allow you to control you anymore, okay? But you still need to take the lead and reach out. Because your mom is feeling alone. Now, I'm not feeling alone. I'm having a hot flash. I'm not feeling alone. Y'all don't know. When I'm by myself, I love it. <laughs> I like being by myself. So, I'm going to stop this reading right here. Because one of my sons then came up in here. And he didn't kind of like fuck my energy up. So, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace. <laughs>